Sussex's marriage put an end. Breakup signs and plans to Harry escape imprisonment is exposed. Meghan Markle is allegedly planning to renew her vows with Prince Harry almost two years after they tied the knot. Prince Harry has allegedly purchased a bachelor's pad in Cotswold so that he has a backup plan if things don't work out between him and Meghan Markle. A source claimed that Prince Harry wants to return home but his wife has not allowed him to. As such, Archie's dad is left with no other choice but to come up with an escape plan. These past few weeks have brought it home to Harry that he needs a backup plan, in case things don't work out in America with Meghan and he needs to reinvent himself on his own. The main attraction here is that he now has somewhere to fall back on if he decides to give up on this highly stressful new life he's dealing with in America. In latest move, Meghan leaves Harry last as she lists members of my family in letter. Meghan Markle leaves Prince Harry last as she lists the members of her family in a jaw-dropping letter to U.S. Congress leaders. The Duchess of Sussex made a huge political leap after penning a letter to Congress. Meghan called for Speaker Nancy Pelosi and leader Charles Schumer for paid leave for mothers. Meghan, who welcomed a daughter Lilibet Diana in June, acknowledged how her and Harry were not confronted with the harsh reality and impossible choices other parents suffer. In her plea for paid leave, Meghan said it should be a national right like many other countries. She said, paid leave should be a national right, rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place, or those who live in one of the few states where a leave program exists. If we're going to create a new era of family-first policies, let's make sure that includes a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed accessible, and encouraged without stigma or penalty. I know how politically charged things can, and have, become. But this isn't about right or left, it's about right or wrong. However, when signing off, she left her husband to the end of the list. She concluded, so, on behalf of my family, Archie and Lily and Harry, I thank you for considering this letter, and on behalf of all families, I ask you to ensure this consequential moment is not lost. Meghan Markle published a letter on Wednesday evening, from the office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to the Honourable Charles Schumer and the Honourable Nancy Pelosi. They are the leader and the speaker of the House of Representatives, respectively. The letter, which purports to have been written and signed by Meghan Markle, and Express.co.uk has made every effort to verify it is from her, was advocating for paid leave, and began with the line, I'm not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. I am, like many, an engaged citizen and a parent. The Duchess of Sussex went on to describe her underprivileged upbringing, saying, I grew up on the $4.99 salad bar at Sizzler. Meghan wrote, like any parents, we were overjoyed. Like many parents, we were overwhelmed. Like fewer parents, we weren't confronted with the harsh reality of either spending those first few critical months with our baby or going back to work. As ever, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, which she accompanied with her handwritten signature. This is also the first time Meghan has referred to her second child, since announcing the birth of Lilibet back in June 2021. Meghan has also been criticized in the past for continuing to use her official royal title in an official capacity, as opposed to her birth name of Meghan Markle.